Hey everyone, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. I've got a question to answer here from a woman named Sarah. It's a good one. She says, I get the whole thing about flour. At the same time, when you talk about, for example, eating three meals a day, you make it sound like we need to get back to the good old days when people ate three healthy meals a day and didn't snack all the time. Well, in the good old days, people ate bread. It was a staple. How come this was not a problem? Is it only a modern issue that flour is so bad for us? Sarah. Um, yeah, great question, Sarah. Um, I do think there's a little something kind of good old day-ish about the way we eat in Bright Line Eating. I do. Like, yeah, three squares a day, big bountiful meals, get on with life in between. Um, and yeah, they did eat bread and they often had pie after dinner too. So what's up with that? Um, so here's what's up with that. Um, sugar and flour are chronic dose-dependent toxins. So that's the definition of flour, chronic dose-dependent toxin. Sugar is a chronic dose-dependent hepatotoxin, meaning it only affects the liver. Um, the glucose in, in refined flour, the glucose in flour in general, um, hits all of the cells. Um, the fructose in sugar only if, uh, impacts the liver. Okay. So, um, but they're both chronic dose-dependent toxins. So that's the key right there, chronic dose-dependent toxins. They've always been toxic. Um, I think they're being refined a little bit more these days. It's sort of the equivalent of getting, you know, better cocaine, you know, um, yeah, purer heroin. So they're being refined a little bit more, but I don't think that's the issue. The issue is the dose-dependent piece, that second piece. Um, uh, we just didn't used to eat as much of it as we did. So, as we do now. <laughs> so, I want you to think about this in terms of a cucumber turning into a pickle. Because becoming a, an addict is sort of a process of starting off as a cucumber and then turning into a pickle. And once you're pickled, you can never go back. But it's a gradual process. It's not like, oh, like, this is the day I became an addict. It's like a long time of sort of wiring up a series of cue response behaviors, a long time of you know, the, the dopaminergic neurons and the nucleus accumbens going, whoa, that was a lot of stimulation. Maybe we ought to thin out a little bit. It's a gradual process, but eventually a cucumber becomes a pickle. If you put it in a solution that's strong enough, you put enough vinegar, enough salt, enough of a sort of strong solution in that water, and then sit that cucumber in it for long enough and it becomes a pickle. So I think what used to happen is we had cucumbers sitting in just like a really mild solution and they kind of stayed cucumbers. Um, like they just didn't get pickled because there wasn't enough of that toxin around to affect the pickling process. There's, I, you know, we're not sure what the threshold is exactly, but sugar and flour consumption have risen astronomically over the last 50, 100 years. I mean, it's been a gradual process. It's been kind of spiking and we're at this like threshold where you know, people are eating ridiculous amounts of sugar and flour. If you want the numbers, you can go find them in my book. The, the actual absolute numbers don't really matter that much, but just, you know, it's orders of magnitude more than we used to eat. And that's the issue. So, um, you know, in the context of eating a bunch of whole real food, a little bit of bread in the diet is not an issue. Um, in the context of eating mostly processed foods, sugar and flour become debilitating for the brain and the body and they take cucumbers and turn them into pickles. So that's the issue. It's the dose. It's the dose. We're just eating too much of it. And um, it's it's our environment. It's it's our normal food expectations. It's, you know, that, um, you know, rice cereal is the first thing we feed to our babies and um, formula with, uh, that's the first hard food, like solid food, right? It, that we feed to our babies. That's the first thing mothers are recommended, whether they're breastfeeding or bottle feeding. It's put some rice cereal in that formula or in that breast milk to start the solid food process. And what's in it? It's rice flour. I mean, I've, I've, I've looked, I can't find a single one that's just rice and not rice flour. It's all rice flour. So our first solid food that we're feeding our babies at six months old is rice flour. Um, if they're formula fed, um, it's, it's straight fructose. Like they're just, that stuff is like corn syrup solids is usually the first ingredient in formula. So then they're getting, you know, nothing but sugar straight from the beginning. So we've got, um, we've got a pickling process in place, right? And then, you know, when they're kids, it's goldfish crackers, Cheerios, and raisins. 
and it just goes from there, right? So we're, we're feeding our, our progeny, we're feeding ourselves almost nothing but sugar and flour, like from the gate, um, or, you know, whatever, maybe in healthier families, it's like 60 to 70% sugar and flour. In the least healthy, it's 100% sugar and flour. It's awful. So at those kinds of doses, um, it, it becomes a problem. Um, in small doses, not a problem. So that's the issue. And then, but then the other issue is once a pickle, always a pickle, you can't go back to a cucumber. So if your brain and body have been damaged by eating that way for half your life, you can't go back to like, oh, well, in the good old days, they ate a little bit of bread. So I'll eat a little bit of bread. No, you're a pickle. You don't ever get to eat bread. You see, like they stayed cucumbers. And so they got the privilege of eating those foods in moderation. And there are still some people among us who are cucumbers, right? They're, they're low on the susceptibility scale and their, their brains never cross that divide. They never make that transition over because they just don't wire as readily that way. Those of us whose brains wire more readily that way, we're sunk, we're pickles, and we don't get to be cucumbers again. So um, yeah, unfortunately, the good old days are gone. <laughs> what we have left is um, the wild, wild west where um, anyone who's susceptible is almost guaranteed to be pickled. Um, such it is. <laughs> but yay, there's bright line eating and we can go back to eating, you know, whole real food. And that makes all the difference in the world. Three meals a day, no sugar, no flour, weigh and measure your quantities and you're good to go. And, um, then what happens is you get to live as if it was the good old days. You have to follow these simple rules to recreate those conditions. But the set dressing looks pretty much like that old play. If, if you're not, you know, looking too close, like it's like, oh, this is exactly what it used to be like. We used to sit down three meals a day, eat our abundant, delicious, large quantities of food and go on our merry way. You just have to sort of read the fine print that, oh, you have to keep these boundaries around it. Otherwise the whole thing disintegrates. So anyway, great question. That is the weekly vlog and I'll see you next week.